For number 5, we are going to arrange these numbers from the smallest to the largest. But then we have a small trouble because we have two fractions and also two decimals. We cannot really compare 2 over 3 and 0 0.65 at the same time. We have to choose to either work with fractions or all decimals. Which one would you prefer? Hopefully you guys all tell me decimals because it's just so much easier, isn't it? 0 0.65 is so much easier to see that this is less than 0 0.66. But then to compare fractions, it's not so easy. So our game plan is we'll change these two fractions into decimals and then compare. Alright, 5 over 8 is the same as 5 divided by 8. Therefore, to change this into a decimal, we are going to divide. And to divide, we are going to use long division. So, the 5 goes inside because that's the number on the top. Put down the number on the top inside. And then the 8 will go on the outside. Let's go ahead and divide. 8 goes into 5 zero times, but then I have to continue. To continue with this, look at the 5 and then we put a decimal point and then attach a 0 to it. 5 is the same as 5.0. And then after we've done this, we should also indicate the decimal point for the answer part. Okay, we have to line up the decimal point. Once I do that, I can look at the question as 8 goes into 50 how many times? Well, I know that 8 goes into 50 6 times because 6 times 8 will be 48. And then after we subtract 50 minus 48, that will give us 2. And we can continue from there by attaching another 0, 5.00. It's the same as 5. And then we can bring down this 0 down here. So we can look at the question as 8 goes into 20 how many times? The answer to that will be 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16. 20 minus 16 will give us 4. And we can actually finish this up, so let's go ahead and do that. Attach another 0 here, drag this 0 down here. 8 goes into 40 5 times. 5 times 8 will give us 40. And now we'll have no remainder, we are done. So in another word, we know that 5 over 8 is the same as 0 0.625. And now let's do the same for 2 over 3. So long division in action. The 2 is on the top, so put it inside, and then the 3 is on the outside. 3 goes into 2 zero times, so we indicate the 0 on the top. So for the 2, we'll attach a decimal point, and then put down a 0, and then we'll line out the decimal point on the top, and then we go ahead and ask ourselves, 3 goes into 20 how many times? The answer to that will be 6. 6 times. 6 times 3 will be 18. So we subtract 20 minus 18, that will give you 2. And then we can continue from there. You don't necessarily need to put on 0 here, but then you should always have 0 right here to continue. But then I just want to show you that 2.0 is the same as 2.00. That's why I can bring down this 0 down here, okay? And then we can continue by asking ourselves, 3 goes into 20 how many times? Once again, 6 times. 6 times 3, that will be 18. And when we subtract, we have 20 minus 18, that's another 2. And it actually keeps on going forever, because it's always a 2, right? So you can attach the 0 right here, and you have another 6, and this will never end. So you have a bunch of 6. So I'm just going to indicate this as 0 0.6666 and so on. I can never finish this up, so I can put dot dot dot. And sometimes you can put a bar, but it doesn't really matter in this case. Because now we can compare these four numbers. Which one is the smallest? Because the question is asking us for the smallest first. Let's find out first. 0 0.625 is the smallest. So I'm going to indicate this is the first. Let me just indicate right here, first, smallest, okay, that's the smallest. And which one is the second smallest? 0 0.65, it's the second smallest, so I'm just going to indicate that as the second. How about the third one? In fact, 0 0.66, it stops right here. This right here is, will be the third smallest, so this will be the third place. 
and then the 2 over 3, which is the same as 0 0.66666, infinitely many 6 afterwards, right? This will be the fourth one. It's also the biggest, but then this will be the fourth smallest. Anyways, here are the answer choices. Which one is the correct answer? We want to have the 5 over 8 goes first, so it's either A or C. And now we want the 0 0.65 go second, so we see that well, both of them have 0 0.65. But then for the third one, we need to have 0 0.66. That's choice A. 0 0.66 It's the third smallest. Therefore, the answer choice A, it's the correct answer to this question. That's it.